Hello everyone, I am Uthi F. Ami Target Comative Channel and this will be another video in OS 2.0 flow for the Google API. So in the last video, I have already uploaded a file in a Google Drive using the Google Drive API and that time I used the simple upload. So in the simple upload, I simply uploaded a file without any metadata and we can upload the file whose size is less than 5 MB. So we have three types of upload which we can do in Google Drive using the Google Drive API. One is simple, another one is multi-part and third one is resumable. So in this video, we are going to focus on how can you upload a file the whose size is less than 5 MB but this time I want to upload the metadata as well. Metadata means details about the file. If you see the documentation here for the create file, you can see here all the details like what is the maximum file size we can upload, support a MMI, ME type. Then you have to pass the parameter, upload type. So it will be simple, multi-part, resumable. So we are going to cover the multi-part in this video. Then we have optional query parameters. You can see like if you want to include the labels, if you want to use some key revision forever. So whatever you can, you can read these parameters and you can understand what is the use for that. But these are optional, so I will simply ignore it. And if you come to request body, you can see that in the request body, supply a file resource with the following properties as the metadata means whatever you see here this is metadata so if you see the file we have like app properties then we have something content hints then we have created time description folder color if you're creating a folder then id mi me type something we have right so what i'm going to do i will upload a file and i want to pass some metadata like i will, will pass the description and i will also pass the name okay you can see the the name of the file okay and it's not like that you have to pass everything these are optional properties so you need to read this documentation, understand, okay, what is required and what is optional. But multi-part upload using the post is not simple. If you come here again, where it is explaining like how can we do a multi-part upload here, then you can see here a multi-part upload request lets you upload metadata and data in the same request. In the simple upload, we are simply uploading a file without a metadata, but using this multi-part, we can upload the file and metadata as well. So you need to come here and click on HTTP and you can see also you need to pass the upload type as multi-part. Okay. And after that, it is giving like what are the steps you need to perform. This will be your endpoint with the upload type as multi-part and to pass it as a post post call. Then this is very important and really confusing for beginners as well. It says that create the body of the request format, the body according to the multi-part related content something which contains two parts, metadata and media. So important thing, create the body of the request. Okay. Then we should have two parts here like metadata and media. Metadata must come first and must have a content type header set to application slash JSON. Add the files metadata in JSON format. This is the actual point here. Whatever metadata you want to pass, you need to create a JSON file with those details. Okay. And that JSON file to pass as a metadata and that should be the first parameter. Okay. That's why it's, it's saying that the metadata must come first. Then it comes media which should come second and it should have a content type with the possible MIME type. Then here you need to add some headers like content type and then we have content length. And again, this thing set the multipart related and include the boundaries since a string you are using to identify the different parts of the request. So this is again something little confusing. Maybe I will show you that I can show you some curl command where you can understand this point. But as of now, simply in rule, you need to you need to extract some details like you have this API endpoint. This is a post call. You need to create a JSON file with the metadata, whatever you want to pass. And you need to pass the metadata first and then to pass the media. So let me go to my JSON online editor.org and let me create a JSON with the metadata. So what are the metadata are possible? So you can see this is the request body and I want to pass name. So let me create a name and I will simply add the metadata for my that Spotify logo. Spotify logo and please include the extension. Then 
I will want to pass the description. Copy the key and paste it here. And I will simply write some description like this is a S45 logo. Okay, I simply created one JSON documentation. Let me save it. I will name it like Spotify Metadata. You can give any name, but it should be a JSON. Now, let me copy the endpoint. This is post call. And let me add the authorization as well. Please note if your authorization expired, please go and generate it using the refresh token, which I have already explained in my previous videos. So here the tricky part how to pass the body. So first thing what it is saying that the first thing you to pass the metadata and then only media. If you see here in the binary we don't have any option to provide the metadata that's why we need to use the form data this time. But what will happen so here first you need to pass your metadata file that is JSON. So select the file click on select file and select your metadata you can give any key if you want to give otherwise you can simply ignore as well and then second thing is media which you want to upload so again i am going to upload my spotify.png so what will happen what i am saying that what a file i am uploading upload this file in google drive with the name as spotify logo.png it will not take the actual name the file name whatever file name you are providing you know metadata that it will take i know why i am passing the extension because this is a png file so i am passing the extension as well in my metadata now click on send and let's see what happens you can see it is giving me 200 ok and you have id and you can see the spotify logo.png so whatever name i have given in my metadata file it is coming here let me go to my my drive and if you do see here you can see that it it has uploaded the spotify logo with the name whatever i give in my metadata file if you click on it if you come down right hand side you can see it is even showing the description also like this is the spotify logo okay so using the multi part we can upload the file with the metadata which is not possible in simple upload since here we are passing the metadata so file is not corrupted but if you are simply uploading the file use the binary and use the simple upload okay so if any doubt please comment on this video if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone